So, Jock, something quite special happened. Uh, it was exactly 30 years ago. 30 years ago, 1981, I went in the Renault team with Bernard Hinault and uh, raced the Tour de France. And you were? The first American at that time, yes, to race it. So uh, I was national champion at the time. Uh, the, the race was a pretty amazing race, and it was Bernard's uh, third win. But what was, I mean, how, how the American people saw the Tour de France at that time? I think it was... I didn't think that they certainly didn't know back then as much as they do now about the Tour de France. And uh, many followed it, but not nearly as many followed it uh, then as they do now. And yourself, you had a special feeling by, by competing as the first American in the, in the peloton? I think that I didn't really realize the impact back then. I just wanted to race. I wanted to ride the Tour. It was an amazing race. and. Uh, it hasn't been until later that it really sunk in being a, being a pioneer in that. And was it a good race for you? Yeah, it was very good. Uh, Bernard won the race. Uh, I was 32nd overall, which wasn't that bad for 220 starters. And uh, I learned a lot. Well, you're also famous because uh, the year after, uh, at the World Championship, something something happened. You almost won the race, Jock. Uh, it's possible to see the pictures on YouTube. I think it's... Uh, well, it's uh, it's really amazing. That was Goodwood, yes, and I came pretty close, but uh, didn't win it. But still, it was that was another uh, significant race in my career. And you didn't win because on the pictures we see your your teammate is is almost chasing you. Or well, Greg Lemond did chase me down. He didn't want me to win. He told me after the race he uh, he he would rather have somebody else win than than me win. He he really did not want me to win the race. But because he said I didn't deserve it, uh, didn't do anything. He was better than me, and well, it affected your your relationships. Uh, at that point, Greg and I did not see eye to eye, and uh, it definitely affected it. Certainly. Well, you are the first American to have competed in the Tour de France. Is the first American to have won it, and perhaps Armstrong is also the first American to have. Uh, won it seven times, first person even. Um, did you have a special relationship with Armstrong? Armstrong came a little bit later. I, I, I did, I have ridden with him, you know, do know him. Uh, and Armstrong has done an amazing things for American cycling and he's really, really helped American competition and American awareness in cycling, especially the Tour de France. So now you are based in Rwanda, but are you st have you still connection uh, with American cycling? I do have some connection with American cycling. I still go back to the, the, the Las Vegas trade show, the Interbike trade show, still have some contacts within the sport, especially with the old 7-Eleven team. Is that possible one day you, you, you go back home? Absolutely. Uh, one day I will go back home. It's it's a nice place to go home to. And do you have some special projects in cycling? Uh, none other than Rwanda. No, I don't. Uh, we have a ranch in Wyoming. I'd love to go and, and do a, a guest ranch in Wyoming. Because you are now managing a team in Rwanda, the national team. Is that possible one day you, 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 you will be involved in, in an American team? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Don't know. That's That's in the future. But at the moment, you at, are? At the moment, I'm involved in this team, and that's what I'm doing. Happy like this? I'm very happy with it, yes.